I'm Mark Farrell. Welcome to Frequency on RxP, New York's rock experience. It gives me great pleasure to introduce Emmy Award winner John Leguizamo. Hey, John. How you doing, man? How, How you doing? doing? What's up? Welcome to uh, New York's rock experience, my friend. Love the experience. Love the rock. The ubiquitous John Leguizamo. You've done your comedian, writer, author, actor, award Caterer. winner. Caterer. Caterer. <laughs> DP. Gaffer. You probably had gaffer, electric, grip. What, what haven't you done? And what's actually more importantly, what's your favorite passion? If you could pin down one thing, is it easy to do or hard to do? Well, pin down? The, one I, love? Yeah, yeah. I, I think theater is pretty amazing. How did you start weaving your way into acting? How did that begin? Well, it was. I was having problems in high school. Welcome and, to the club. Yeah, yeah. And my math <laughs> teacher, they were going to expel me and all that. And my math teacher, Mrs. Zufa, Mrs. Zufa? Mr. Zufa. Mr. Zufa. My math teacher. <laughs> he was supposed to be yesterday at, at, on a Regis in, in Kelly, but he couldn't leave because he loves to teach, man. Are you serious? Yeah, he wouldn't That's leave the legit. school. Yeah, legit. Really? And he wouldn't leave? He wouldn't leave his students alone to, to have a minute of fame. You know what that says? He's scared blankless of being on TV. <laughs> being on camera, yeah. Translation, I think that's what it is. So if you're a real big fan of John Leguizamo, there's a special treat. You're going to be at the New York Times Conference Center, or New York Times Speaks, their great new venue yeah. on 41st and 8th Avenue on June 9th. John Leguizamo, man. Pleasure, all man. the best to you. Congratulations you. on the happening. And uh, we'll hear more from you right down the road Absolutely. with all those great movies that are in the can already. Yeah, coming out. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you so much to all the independent filmmakers who submitted over 2,000 films. You believe that? 2,000 films narrowed down arduous process to 70, and they're being shown right here in Hoboken, part of the festival. Danny I.O., you brought the house down. Unbelievable. 12 songs, 12 songs. We were hammering the top of the house. Yeah, tw did I do 12? I didn't. People came here to see movies, and they became concert goers. Mark Farrell here with funny man Artie Lang. Thank you so much for coming to the Hoboken International Film Festival. Thank you. Funny man, it puts a lot of pressure on me now. I feel like I have to get naked or something to get a laugh. But If there's one name you're going to hear repeatedly throughout the week of the Hoboken International Film Festival, is a name Durning. And with me is Michelle Durning, daughter of Charles Durning. Hello, Michelle. Hello. You are in the movie Polycarp, and you play a very elite role, the owner of a strip club. That's right. That's right. I do. It doesn't seem like you. <laughs> You must be a very good actress. This is one of those moments where I say to myself, I am so happy to be doing what I'm doing. Aww. To be standing next to Rachel Robbins. Hello and welcome. You're a charmer. I am a charmer. <laughs> well, you can charm me because you have this magnetic appeal to you. Or big boobs. I didn't notice, but she's got them. She does. How about that? Okay, let's get down to some serious business. You're in a movie, Three Chrises, actually, what well, we're premiering yep. first tonight. Mm -hmm. And tell me about your character. How does it feel, Randy, <clears throat> to be known internationally? You are a cultural phenomenon, the village yeah. people. Wherever you go, bars, restaurants, events, small, Bar large, mitzvahs, you birthday name it. parties, reunions, yeah. From very small to gargantuan, your music is played. And this will be going on for years and years. After decades, we're gone. Way after, after, after we're gone. gone. Even it's your been, horse. <laughs> yeah, the horses don't live that long. Does that actually, mm. does that resonate with you? Or is that real at all? It Can does you? now. It does now that um, this is the 30th anniversary. Once in a while, it must hit you when people, you know, you walk down the street and say, my God, Star Wars, you know, Batman. Yeah, I guess when you come right around, you come down to it. I mean, I've done a lot of things. I've been in this industry for a God knows how long. You've done so many interesting roles throughout the years, your tenure of acting on a silver screen, etc. When you do a smaller film like this, does it have the same importance for you as a larger big budget film? Oh, absolutely. All right, if you find it difficult doing without my partner Sue over the weekends, this week you can start your Sunday with her. Tonight she was interviewed by Mark Farrell he, for he, Smooth he, Jazz 101.9's dialogue program. Now you've been delivering news for all these years. Are there situations where you have to detach yourself from stories? Every day. Every day, really? Every day, and you feel it really in your gut. The other networks have made dramatic changes in the last few years. Yes. And when you turn on Channel 4 at 5 o'clock, at 11 o'clock, you expect and these people are going to be there, these faces that are part of your family. And it works. Well, Great I hope recipe. we stay together for a while. Uh, each of us has a couple of years left on our contract. Oops.